All right, today I'm gonna demonstrate the Kiesel 360X Spectral Controller X. Not a whole lot of info out there, but uh, we're gonna go over it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is hit the center button, scroll over to programs. You can either use the quick set program. Uh, in this case, we're doing a reef tank, so tuna blue. In my case, I simply added on another program. Um, and you can do that by simply just highlighting the plus and hitting the center button. What we're gonna do is gonna go to mine, uh, my quick set two that I created. Now these are all the different time slots that you can program throughout the day. Um, and you just pick one with the center button, scroll to the right after you've selected the time you want to change, and then center button again, and that will be your color, intensity, and you can see the other controls that you can do. Um, when you get those set, you're just simply going to back out. You're going to back out again, and then you can either go down to save, or you can go back, and it's going to ask you to save these settings, and you would just simply hit yes, and that'll save your setting. Now, acclimation mode. What you're going to do is you're going to um, go to the left, to the main screen in the programs, and this, this also works for the lunar mode. Um, so with the acclimation mode, you would simply hit the center button and select how many days you want to acclimate, okay? Then you want to, this is important, you have to select which program you're going to use on acclimation mode. In my case, I used the Quick Set 2. It could be the factory default Quick Set 1, <clears throat> but you have to select that. And then you would want to select the percentage. And what this would be would, in this case, it says 35%. So this would be 35% of my Quick Set 2. So in Quick Set 2, whichever time period during the day, say the peak time frame towards the afternoon when I have it at peak, um, in my case, I'm around 40-50% of um, my total intensity. That's how high I've got it. This would do 35%, so it would be do 35% of my 50%. Um, so you would get all that set, and then you would go down, and you would go to the save. Okay, so you would save that, um, and it would take you back out to the screen. I just backed out, and I'm gonna hit no just to make sure that I didn't hit a button. So um, now you would do the same thing on lunar. On Lunar, it's just a tad different um, because you have to set a start time. So we would select Lunar, center button to get in there. And if you look towards the top, there's a start and end time. Okay, so if you look towards the lower part of the screen, you'll see again that I have Quick Set 2 selected because that's the program I run. That's my custom program that I made. But on the time, you, you have to figure out your last time slot on your Quick Set, on your program. So your, your last time slot is where you would make the starting point of the lunar cycle. So in my case, I have the lunar lights come on at 12.15 and off at 3 a.m. Because my program ends at 12.15. Um, we like to look at the tank in the afternoon when everybody's home. So, you know, I don't, my lights don't come on until sometime around noon every day. So um, the last setting goes, shuts off at 12.15 and then my lunar lights come on at 12.15 and they go off at 3 a.m. So the same thing, you would go down to the check mark and you would save it. Um, I'm just going to back out of this, make sure I didn't change anything. I'm going to hit um, keep um, inst instead of resetting it over and starting it over. Okay, now to make your program run, what you're going to do is you're going to back out into the main selector where you can go left or right as you can see here. Okay. But you want to go to the left. And what you're going to do here 
is again this, I'm, I, I'm my lights are on a reef tank okay so let's see if I can get a shot of this okay so what I'm gonna do is I like to have lunar lights on at night so I'm gonna hit center button enter okay and here you can switch between the different programs I can just run just quick set two. I can do a manual light control where I can change it um, here's quick set one and here's the acclimation mode so if I'm I, if I just purchase these lights I'm gonna go into acclimation mode I'm just gonna simply hit enter and it's gonna run quick set two that I tied into it earlier in this video okay and I'm just gonna leave it there and back out of it okay I would back out and it'd run into acclimation mode and my quick set it would run my quick set two program but in acclimation mode okay but in my case, I'm, I've, I've had these for a little over a month, so um, I'm, I'm running the Lunar Cycle. My Lunar Cycle runs on top of my Quick Set 2 that I created. So this is what I run. So I would just hit the center button to make sure this is what I'm using, and that's correct. And that's it. I'm done. You would back out. And this is the screen once you back out. Now... Um, after this thing times out, after a minute, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this mounted back on the magnetic mounting bracket that comes with the Kiesel, the Kessels. Um, it should fade off in just a second, and it will also. I don't know why it shows the tuna sun for freshwater tanks uh, as a group when you're not using it. I would, hopefully when they update this controller, that will go away, but there's no way that I know of how to get rid of that. Um, so as you can see right now, I am in lunar mode, and my color is at 6%, and the intensity is at 30%. And the screen should go into a little bit of a... There it is, the screensaver. Okay, so... Got a little bit of a glare there. I don't know how to get rid of that. But anyway, I'm, I'm using a phone, so bear with me. Um, so it's basically rolling through 6%, 30% intensity. Um, and then it scrolls through the Tuna Sun, which I do not use. But that's the program I'm on. I'm on. Um, so that's it, guys. Uh... I hope this helped. There's not a whole lot out there on the Kessel setups. Um, there's a lot of details missing. Um, took a lot of trial and error for the first couple of days when I received these lights. Um, overall, pretty happy with them. Um, get a kind of a little bit of a tank shot here if I can. Um, but this is a 120 gallon. Um, it's about four months old. Four or five months um, so I've got basically all my fish in there that I'm gonna have there's a mated pair of clowns uh, everybody's hanging out in the back right now there's my bicolor um, Lenny probably one of my favorite fish and there's my female they look like little orcas I think they're gonna get fed so there's a couple of my antheas my chromuses I have a there's a firefish in there, and then a Tomini Tang, and there is my Tang, and there's a few corals on there. I've got some stuff on my rack I'm about to mount, um, a few corals from Battle Corals, waiting on a couple more. The shipment, FedEx was a day late ordering it, so a couple didn't make it. Um, there's a couple of rock anemones. that guy. There's a couple of zoas there, some frags. There's a hammer. A couple of soft corals. There's a branching green star there. I've got to move that. They just got put, I'm kind of rearranging things now, but there's some pallies and some more zoas and Morzo is there. So, a couple of money 
frags that I got when the tank was new just to test out. And there's the Blenny's home. So he he basically dug this rock out, uh, chewed it out. Um, I think I have a video showing when, when he created this little little hole that he lives in. Um, right now, I'm running, I've got, my T5s are on right now. Um, not happy with one of the bulbs I've got. Got two T5s, a blue plus and a coral plus. I'm going to replace the coral plus. I don't, it's kind of a purple tint to it and kind of washes out the fish. Um, I think I'm going to put another blue plus on the front to match the T5 in the back. Um, but that's what I got going right now. Um, my sump's a mess right now, but uh, I've got some carbon running at the moment. Uh, Simplicity 340 DC skimmer. Um, my refugium light's not on right now. It comes on in a couple of hours. Um, so I've got some different types of algae. I've got an emerald crab that was eating on my bird's nest. He's down here. And then a hermit crab that likes to eat snails. I've thrown him down in the sump, so they're living in the sump now. Uh, I've got, that's my ATO. Um, the container's behind the wall in a cabinet. I've um, got a doser I'm going to be hooking up soon whenever I need it right now. My corals aren't really consuming a whole lot, so uh, no need for it right now. It's the skimmer. Um, the little thing above the ATO, this guy right there, that is a sensor for my lights that are in my cabinet. Um, and they it shuts off on and off automatically when I open the door it comes on so that that's kind of nice I think it was like 12 bucks on Amazon I'll provide a link later if anybody's interested in those but odd end type stuff it's a mess right now I've been kind of working on some stuff a bit um, just a single overflow uh, I'm gonna eventually swap that over to a Herbie style it's pretty quiet now since I added the gate valve and made sure that the uh, line is actually at an angle for my drain that stopped the slurping and gurgling and the, um, my sump was constantly, the water level would rise and lower which kind of screwed with the, the skimmer a bit so, uh, so that took care of that but I think I'm going to go ahead and swap that return line into um, another drain line for a Herbie style um, that would give me a full siphon and a backup in case snails or anything clog up my main drain. Um, I've got a add a manifold. Um, you can see I've got a bend right there in the pipe, so I've got I've got to fix that because I move things around. So so that's going to be changed pretty soon. Um, add these little shelves that just kind of makes things easier um, and I don't know if you can see this but that's my Kessel controller my skimmer DC pump controller and my max spec gyre XF250 I believe is the model of it um, it's another And that's it, guys. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Anything about the Kessel 360X um, spectral controller, if you have any questions. I've went through trials and um, had to figure the stuff out kind of on my own. But uh, uh, one thing else, when you're hooking two up, you can just get a USB. Let's see if I can get a clear shot of that. Just a USB-C cable. With a 90 degree adapter, got that on eBay instead of paying, you know, 40 bucks for the Kessel cord. Um, I just I got this guy, USB-C. I think it was 10 foot and a little 90 degree adapters. Runs through the pipe and comes up this pipe and then same thing here. 
and I'm kind of new to this filming so I've got a amber lens on my camera to help cut out some of the blues so if anybody has any um, suggestions on how to take better shots of the aquarium um, that would be awesome that's the bird's nest that my emerald crab ate and it's fully recovered in fact it's growing and in fact there's uh, it's about to split on this tip here all the tips are they have growth there's that guy I've got to find a spot for him so everything's fairly new so I'm getting there but uh, thanks guys for watching if you have any questions leave in the comments